Hello, children of the internet. It is I, Foggy Senor, and welcome once again to Let's Play Deus Ex. In the previous episode, we, uh, we made contact with Silhouette. We found their bunker, and Chad here tasked us with saving a couple of their members from the uh, MJ-12 that uh, was sort of holding them hostage in Bunker 3. And uh, we had a great success with that mission, much better than the first uh, time I tried recording it, which you will never see. I will not allow it. Uh, no, we did great. We did great. So Chad told us uh, about a club, name of which I cannot remember, Club La Porte de l'Enfer. I am not saying that right. I'm not even close, I'm sure, but I, I don't care. That's where we're going today. That's what we're doing in this episode. We're going to go make contact with Nicolette Duclair, for she is the way by which we will get in contact with Morgan Everett. And he is uh, the Illuminati man that we really need to talk to. Thank He's you got. For... You're very Thank welcome. You. He's got all the info. Thank you, sir. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're headed out to do today. We got a key from Bunker 3, which allows us into the sewers, the Paris sewers. Uh, we've got the key. Now we just need to figure out where the hell the sewers even are. I'm going to have to consult my map. Uh, okay, so I'm around here. And I need to come up past Bunker 2. Make a left. Here's Bunker 2, okay. Come up this way. First left. And, uh... Come along here. That leads down to Bunker 3. So this should be our door here. Key? Good. Excellent. We'll crouch. Don't know what we're about to run into. They, I mean, they've got Paris on lock, guys. There might be security down in the, uh, down in the sewers. Who knows? The sewers sure look a lot like the catacombs, though. Unless we're just still in the catacombs. In which case, it's, uh, it makes sense. That's fine. Police raid catacombs. Did I read this one? We're gonna go for it. Earlier today, the police raided the catacombs, entering through Dun... Dun... Dun oh my god. Dunferrochereau, Port Royal, Trocadero, and a number of other unidentified locations in an attempt to round up elements of the terrorist group Silhouette. Sources within the Metropolitan Police Department indicated that since the institution of martial law, the number of terrorist incidents has declined but Silhouette still remains active in its so-called Campaign of True Lies. Far from being a harmless group of reactionaries, Silhouette presents a clear and on ongoing threat to the public welfare, said Inspector Gabley, currently leading the case. Despite extensive surveillance prior to the raid, however, police found minimal evidence of Silhouette's presence. Instead, capturing a number of drug dealers, prostitutes, and other suspected criminals. All in all, we consider the operation a success, insisted Gabley. We've made a strong statement that Paris, above or below, will not be a haven to radicals and thieves. You haven't made any kind of statement to me, boy. I will, I will sort this out, believe you me. Connect to the sewers. You're going the right way. Dork, it fucking says it on the door when you come in. You told me. You told me that this, this leads to the sewers. How are you this stupid? Okay. A little pool. Nice lock pick. I guess that's all that was really in there. Whatever. Go ahead and save. Now we're getting into the... Who knows? Who knows what we're going to run into? A little bit of F8 action. 
guess the immediate area is uh, secure. Nothing scary around here, but there is a, a little vent I can crawl in. What? Well, now what is the point of this? I say. I say. What am I doing here? All right. I, this feels like a transition. Feels like I'm about to see it load me into a new area. Nope. It's just a long hallway of nothing. Alrighty. Ah, no, the transition's on the ladder, naturally. The Champs Elysees, ah, ha 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 ha. Alright, we will find the club here, but, uh, do we want to find the club right away? Do we maybe want to look around and gather resources and intel? Above, I'm showing MJ-12 troops and the Paris police. Also some bots. The police won't bother you, but stay away from the troopers. The police won't bother me, but stay away from the troopers. Got it. I'm gonna be on my best behavior, Mr. Tong. I hear and see a mech. <laughs> I don't even need to turn on my uh, sonar. It's shaking the entire fucking... the walls of the sewers. I wonder what's gonna happen. Is there people above me that would like... that would hear this? Nope. I'm too far down, and their mech is making way too much noise. It was a fire extinguisher anyway. I don't even want it. Just sort of hum along through the sewers, looking for... Ah, more crates. Crowbar, don't need it. Lockpick, do need it. Well, don't, I know, don't necessarily need lockpicks at this point. Feels like we're at, well, like we just get uh, enough as we're moving around. We get enough. Just pick, you know. We don't use them very much. In the last episode, we blew up a couple boxes that were uh, locked. Man, it is Mech City upstairs, but they're both turned away, right, at just at the moment, so maybe... Damn! Damn, it's locked! Okay, well... This presents an issue. Is the other one locked as well? Is it okay for me to just run like this around under the sewers? Okay. All right. This one is unlocked, but I'm going to guess it's probably harder to like... to have that not happen to you. Yeah, I think I'm going to... You know what? Yeah, I'll use lockpicks. We'll use lockpicks on the other entrance and we'll just make sure and time it such that the mechs are not uh, pointed at my face and body. And I don't know why I'm crouching. I'm so cautious. Cautiously foggy. They're not even above me now. This might be the perfect time for this shit. Go, 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 go. Pick like you've never picked before. Pick, 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 pick. Like the devil went down to Georgia. Like that speed. Yeah, yeah, they're red. I would have been got if it had seen me. Alright, well, we're above ground now. Time to start getting our uh, bearings. I'm traveling west. 
No, south. Southwest west? I'm traveling southwest west. Just looking, making sure that, uh. Okay, that's tech goggles, that's ammo. Do I have enough? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure of that? Yeah, I guess I do. We're gonna run. These mechs, man. This is kind of annoying. I guess I could uh, break out the old uh, spy drone or one of my... Oh, I thought I had more of these. I have three of the EMPs and scramblers and I've got seven each of gas grenades and lambs. Not sure what you might find in these buildings, but if you break an inner, be prepared to deal with the Paris police. Okay. Tracer Tongue, man. What a weirdo. Hey. You might be able to, uh... You might be able to steal if you break in, but like, you know, police and shit. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you, my friend. What? Okay, well, it seems like this end of the world is sort of like the mech. I don't think is coming over this way. I'm gonna throw down a quick save. I'm gonna crouch and become stealthy. And I'm gonna hack this ATM in front of the police. Tracer tongue warning me about the police. Bro, I'm stealing from an eight. Look at this 375 credits. Take, take it, take it, take it. I don't know. No, no, no. Don't take your sword out. Do not take out the sword. We do not need it. Not at this time. Uh, you know what? Might as well hack this other ATM. It might have some funds in it as well. Maybe. PageNet. Bob Page runs this shit, eh? 187 credits. Does that put me... No, I just want it to be at end in a zero or a five. I hate these weird, you know, ends in a one or a four or whatever. Fuck you, police. I don't live here. Where am I supposed to go? You got a hotel you can recommend me, sir? Number 18. How do I get into their house? Shit, okay. Just gotta be careful, I guess, really, about how we, uh, navigate the streets here. That's fucking MJ-12 off in that direction, see? Oh my god, alright. I forgot what he said about the police. If MJ-12 gets... If I run afoul of MJ-12, then the police will get me too. Ugh. Annoying. Okay. We're gonna have to figure something out here, because I want access. I want access to the streets. I guess we can just wait for that guy to get gone. He's pretty far away, and he has the worst peripheral vision in the universe. If you want a job, talk to Christy. Raymond. The chef already has an ass. Okay, we've read this one, and I don't want to stop to read it because that guy might come back around. Uh, let's see. Is he just walking like a big square, I think. It seems like he's just walking in a big thing around this building. I could probably catch him somewhere over here and sort of just knock him out or kill him. Hmm. 
Where even did he go? Doth my sonar tell me so? It does not. Seriously, where... These guys walk a pretty big arc around this place, eh? All I've got are pigeons on my sonar. Oof. Good gosh. Okay, now he's coming this way. It feels random. What is this? Yeah, okay. Here we go. We'll just make sure we're sort of tucked away like this, kind of. What an idiot. <laughs> Down you go, idiot. As long as the Paris police don't see me doing this, then, uh... We've got nothing to fear. Are they still... Yeah, they're green. They're fine with me. Uh... Is this the club? Is this like the back entrance? Like the kitchens? It feels like it. Like this is where the chefs come to take their breaks. But, it, you know, it might not be a club. It could just be a, a cafe or a restaurant. It's unlocked, though. I'm going in. It's nightlife. Have a taste of wine for me, JC. Okay, I guess I will. Because you said so, then for no other reason. I'm going to crouch through this place, even though I feel like it's probably unnecessary. Alright, here we go. This is probably nothing. What the hell? Navi. Navi Blue Obelix. This Navi is the property of Pierre Paul Bouye. If found, please return at 74 Rue Monta Montaigne. Montaigne? I don't know. Montana? Or contact him at his, uh, you know, online address. Tickets for Cavalera Rustic. Meet, okay, this is like a schedule. Meet Tracy at the, at the at the club at 6.30. New CD by Brewer's Phrase. Yeah, I've heard of them. Somewhere, at some point. New account. 14th Arrondissement Branch. 001506 Naga 066. Okay, that's the relevant information here. That sounds like a... a a bank account that we can steal from. Poor Pierre. He has no idea. His funds might be gone by the end of the night while he's hanging out with Tracy at the club. Okay. This is how to make whatever the hell that is. Cock? 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 Alvin? One chicken cut into nice p nine pieces. Two tablespoons unsalted butter. 10 ounce pearl onions peeled, four slices of bacon cut into 10 centimeter pieces, one tablespoon flour, three quarter cup of chicken stock, one bouquet garni, gar garni, what the fuck is that? Two cups of red wine, one tablespoon red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, garlic. Brown the chicken in the butter in a frying pan over moderate heat. Place chicken in a heavy casserole. Brown the onions and bacon in the frying pan and add to the chicken. Add the flour and stir well. Add stock, bouquet, garni, wine, salt, and pepper. Stir and pour over the chicken. Cover and simmer 30 minutes. Add the red wine vinegar. Degrease the sauce before serving. Okay, guys, I woke up and started recording, uh... This morning, I didn't eat any breakfast, and it is now past, you know, probably what my lunchtime usually is. So, good God. I hate this. I hate that I stopped to read that. It's making me so hungry. I'm definitely going to eat lunch after I record this, and then come back to record some more. 
and I'm not going to eat anything as delicious sounding as that uh, recipe that we just read. I'm probably going to have, I don't know, some bullshit, hot pockets or a quesadilla or something. Something fast. I got to get a lot of recording done today. Or at least that's what I tell myself. Okay, I feel like I'm safe up in here. They wouldn't start shooting with a kid around. What would you like? Everything, ten credits. At least one cafe stayed open during the crackdown. We will never close, no matter what. Is there some kind of curfew? Not yet, but the police programmed the bots to shoot anyone who leaves his arrondissement after dark. I'm looking for a friend, Nicolette Duclair. A leader of Silhouette, a true patriot. Know where I might find her? Where the criminals and students go at night, La Porte de l'Enfer, just across the street. Thanks. You know what? I like this lady. She called Nicolette Duclair and Silhouette revolutionaries, so... But you know what? I'm just going to tell her. This crackdown is the work of Majestic 12. You mean the European Union? They are a group of conspirators who have been seizing governments all over the world. I don't care what they call themselves. I have seen it since I was a girl. The plotting and scheming of corporations to make Europe into one big country with no separate languages, cultures, or tastes. It's more than Europe they plan to unify. Never mind. Okay. I guess that's where the conversation ends. That's funny. I feel like somebody at some point who was, uh, who saw, somebody who worked on this game saw the, the film Network and, uh, were a, was a big fan of the, the, the Ned Beatty scene. I am too. And also all the other great literature and shit that they, uh, reference in this game. Uh, oh my god, this has so much French shit in it, uh, but I'm, I kinda have to, I have to, I have to, unless I already read this, I don't know. Yeah, I've read this, this sounds very familiar, I'm not gonna do it. I won't, I won't stop for this bullshit, I'm gonna have a look around the cafe, I'm gonna talk to these lovely people. Son. We can't have him murdering people from this, this Majestic 12. He's not a child anymore. This cult? At least he has a position. He's safe. Any organization with anonymous leadership? They might control Europe for decades. Michelle will have to survive somehow. I would rather he die with the rest of us. Joshua! What in the hell? Or, this kid looks like he's nine years old. What are First and in your heart, you are a father. How dare you let politics... I am a Frenchman. <laughs> you have abandoned your own son. Perhaps I want to take the metro to see my mother, yes? Should I forget mother and my own freedom to travel so that Michel can have a small salary? These are difficult times. I don't deny it. He and his new friends murdered the Loridan simply because the old man ran a journal. Next time, he will come to murder us. Okay, at this point, one voice actress has played a, uh, a valley girl type, like, UNATCO secretary person. A, uh, a VersaLife nano augmentations, uh, scientist. And now a, uh, despondent and uh, annoying French woman who apparently wants her eight-year-old kid to go fight uh, for, you know, the, the bad guys of the entire world. I couldn't help overhearing about your son. Joshua, be careful. You don't know this man. You have nothing to fear. I would like to see the end of Majestic 12 as much as you would. I was just surprised to find a Parisian who has heard the name. Well, my son, you know. I learned what I can about him. What else have you found out? 
You are one of the revolutionaries, huh? Maybe you can do something with this. Street Station 17 and Werewolf from McCartney's wallet. I think it is the login for the guard shack up the street. What about Michelle? You'll get him killed! He was the one who wanted to be a soldier. Man, if I can get into that guard shack and turn these mechs off, that would be a damn pleasure to me. Mind if I take your wine? Uh. Ho? Haha, <laughs> she sighed at me. Drink it right in front of you. What are you gonna do about it? Is this Michelle right here? No, this is John. Bonjour, okay. Michelle. Bonjour, little boy. Papa forbids me to talk to strangers. Oh, Papa is very wise man. Leave me alone. Uh, leave me alone. Papa, Papa says I cannot talk to you anymore. Leave me alone. Uh, leave me alone. You know what? Fucking kid, you need to grow up. You need to grow up fast, boy. I'm gonna toss this wine yeah. at your fit. <laughs> Stupid boy. Okay. So there's a guard shack, and now we have uh, info on it. Street Station 17 Password Werewolf. Yeah, if I could get into that, that'd be fan damn -tastic. I'm gonna save and poke my head out the front door. This seemed like, uh, from what I remember, this seemed like sort of the... There was a lot of people out here. People, mechs, yeah. This be looking dangerous, but it's probably a quicker way to get to whatever guard shack they were talking about. I don't know, man. The guard shack could be anywhere. He said up the street. There's sort of several ways of street to, to walk. So I'm a, a wee bit confused. That's the club right there. I can see the sign at least enough to know that's what it is. That is the club. There's all kinds of other stuff. That's probably the shack over there. If I had a guess, I'm going to I'm going to run across the street cuz it looks like I might be able to get there going this way. Who's this? Who's this shifty gentleman hanging out next to the garbage back here? I'm the club. The only one to stay open during martial law. They've hiked up the cover, but you will have to pay if you want to find out if Nicolette is inside. That's what you say. I bet I could find a back way. Can I ask you a question? I am not paid to advise tourists. Take it easy. I just want to know if you've heard of Nicolette Duclair. I have no dealings with uh, Miss Duclair. I sweep the streets. That is my life. But you know her? Where would she be this time of night? I don't have money to waste on that place. Number 13. Club La Porte de l'Enfer. A private club for rich phonies. Number 13. Thanks. If you want Renault, he is in the bar at the hostel. Great. What would I want with Renault? You aren't who he was going to hire. The professional thief? I'm flattered. Professional thief? That's me, baby. I'm gonna get in contact with Renault, I guess. Ah, uh, A guy named Renault is located in the hostel's bar looking to hire a professional thief. I got something out of that conversation. I'm glad. I thought he was just going to tell me where the club was. Dude, I know. We're standing here. Number 13. Right next to it. You dork. And what is that? What is that there? Uh... Great. I've got no fucking clue what that means. Put it in English, guys. For us idiots, please. Y 
Yuppers, there's a whole lot of activity out this way. That dork is just going to totally walk off away, though, from where I'm... What an idiot! What an idiot! What an idiot! Everyone in Paris is an idiot but me. Okay, well, maybe not. That looks like the shack. I want to get to that. If I could just get there. If I could just get to it. I thought I was going to be able to get there going this way, but it feels like... There's a whole fucking bunch of guys. Like, standing around next to it. Ah, shit. And then there's this. Slow mech. Clear the streets. Okay, I will. Restrict access to the metro. You'll have to get around on foot. I'm getting around on foot. The problem is how to get anywhere. Ah, très chic. Très chic. I see that guy. I don't think his vision is good enough to see me over here. Where I'm at? I think if I pop my head out... Here we go. This is sort of an area I can hide over here. Nice, nice, nice. If I could just get back here... ...and hide. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, and a nice little packet of soy food to pick up while I wait. Poke my head out to see the new patrols. Okay, those mechs are drifting away. There's the guard shack. I'm just gonna F4 right now. Sort of start making my way over. Use a bioelectric cell. Use another one. Turn my F4 off. Okay, I've made it into what I believe is the guard shack. Now, I th I'm going to assume this is the computer. I'm going to assume this is what I need right here. Street Station 17 Password Werewolf. Deactivate patrol bots. No emails. I don't want to reactivate the bots. Okay, bots powered down. Excellent. The streets are far more navigable at this point than they were before. Now I can sort of clear guys out, maybe. Yeah, I can. I was able to... I knocked that one guy out, so if we're just sort of stealthy and quiet about it, we can start taking dudes out without... Uh, without alerting the police. And then we'll sort of have the run of the place. That's kind of my goal, really. Once I've done that, I can start... I'll make contact with that Renault guy and... Uh, or Renault. Jacques. Jacques Renault. Anybody seen Twin Peaks? I'm a massive Twin Peaks fan, you guys. Man, everybody showed up. All right, hold on. Everybody showed up. Damn. Okay, we gotta we gotta make our way back. 
dog diggity darn diggity do dow boo blap whatever it's not that bad it just ain't that bad you guys we can even do yeah he's gonna go ha 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 dummy I wasted that cloak earlier Well, never mind, I totally didn't. Who saw me, and how? This is fucking nonsense sometimes, you know? The places you're allowed to stand and the places you're not. Stealth-wise? Who the fuck... Legitimately, it makes no damn sense. That guy, I suppose. Scanning area. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this very specifically. Good, okay. No one will see me if I do it from here. All right, the patrol bots are deactivated. Excellent. And we're coming up on time. I don't want to start doing anything else right now. I want to end the episode and go eat my lunch. So the next episode will be focused on clearing out the streets a little bit more and getting, you know, better access to all this stuff. And once we've done that, we will get into the hostel and start working on our real goals. Uh, make contact with Nicolette Declare, but it sounds like there's like a whole other quest here. Like we might be able to just pretend that we're a thief and do some thieving for some, for this guy. We'll check it out. All of that in the next episode. Look forward to it. Uh, until then, I've been Foggy Senor. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao now.